It's time for a worldwide march against Bilderberg. It's time for people all over the planet to expose this criminal group for what it is. A group of globalists hell-bent on bringing in a corporate world tyranny. Now the Bilderberg Group has been stifling and attempting to block the press. And that's why it's time for the media to resist worldwide and to expose this organization. And it's time for people in the United States, the UK, and Europe, or whoever else in the world can get to Watford, England, to go there and cover the police state and the giant iron curtain at taxpayer expense that they're erecting around it. We need to use their arrogance as a way to boomerang the truth around. We need to use their attempt to cover up Bilderberg 2013 and their attempt to block and harass the press as a way to expose what tyrants they really are. So if you support the free press and the right of assembly, it is your duty to descend on Watford, England and the Grove Hotel and to expose the incredible attempted persecution of the press and free speech. We are going to expose their cover-up. We're going to uncover their cover-up. This is now a historic moment happening. The people of the world will march on Watford, England. These bullies have tried to stop us, and so it's time for everybody to double down and double down again. It's the World March against Bilderberg 2013, and it starts now. Don't wait until they're actually meeting. They've already got their goons in place. Go there and show how the police have put the entire area of Watford and that county under martial law. We the people outnumber the criminals and the police that they own. This is the peaceful revolution of exposure against Bilderberg 2013. The people will no longer be pushed around. Do you support press freedom? Do you support the First Amendment, the right to assemble? Do you support Magna Carta, the basis of that, from jolly old England? Well, if you do support that, you had better listen to what I'm about to say. Ladies and gentlemen, there has been incredible intimidation of the press, arrest of whistleblowers in England and the U.S., and of people in the media that are talking to them. We have a criminal government. And when the British government and others, at the behest of criminals like Bilderberg, can call the hotel where I registered six different rooms under different members of my crew's names, if they can call up and cancel that on orders of the security services, it's a tyranny. And they're doing that so that the press cannot come and cover the hotel in the days before they shut it down. This isn't that they're canceling our reservations during the meeting. They're canceling them now in the days leading up to it. And they called Paul Watson, Richard Reeves. I was able to tape some of these conversations. You're about to see those. But I'm calling on everyone worldwide that loves freedom and who wants to stand up against this to go to that area northwest of London and to cover it and to put it on their own YouTubes, their own blogs, and expose the mainstream media that has been saying this doesn't exist. And expose that Google and all these groups that are spying on us illegally, on record, don't want the real citizen press to go expose that they're a bunch of globalists, meeting in secret, carving up the world. This is a big victory for liberty, though, that they're having to do this. They're, they're showing us what tyrants they are, but uh, this is a call to action. And we're going to have maps, everything, regardless, even if they keep me out of England. We will be covering all of this with our reporters on the ground. This is going to be historic. Uh, the tyrants have overplayed their hand, and uh, they're erecting a ring of steel. It's all coming up in this special video report. Uh, I came in this morning to handle a hack attack, and we've confirmed they went in to the database, very sophisticated, erased it. We had backups ready. We're able to get it back up. We're looking for the security hole. I was already up here at you know, 8, 9 in the morning on a Saturday dealing with this, ladies and gentlemen. And they do not want us to cover this because they don't want to be exposed as the puppet masters. They want you to be angry at the puppet Obama and the puppet David Cameron. They don't want you to be aware of the larger picture. So no matter if you're conservative, liberal, libertarian, anarchist, uh, Christian, atheist, whatever you are, black, white, old, young, you need to go to northwest of London in the next week and show your presence in, and, and tell the police and the rest of them you have a right as a free human to expose the new world order. This is a big deal. We've got an article going up at Infowars.com by Paul Watson. They also called him. We've got the names, all of it. Here is these exchanges as they played out just about an hour ago here at my office. Let's see. We'll find out. 
Put it down on the ground. Yes, Lord. My name is Richard Reeves. And do you have a gentleman named Jonathan Brown working there? Uh, no, we don't. What is it regarding? Uh, well, I just got a call from somebody who said they worked there at the Grove. They were one of the managers at the Grove and said that my reservation has been canceled. Okay, just a second. Thank you. Yeah, get it, get it documented. Because they did this, remember, last year in Chantilly. Uh, they canceled our reservation when I got there. Remember, and they had right. the cops there? Right. And again, what did he say to you? He just basically said that, Mr. Reeves, I'm sorry, we're going to have to cancel your reservation, that uh, we have this high security event coming up in a few days that I'm sure you're aware of, and that for that reason that we're canceling both of your uh, room reservations that you've made. And we were booked before it started. They were kicking everybody out a day and a half before. Right. We are getting there. Uh, well, I'm getting there actually there tomorrow. And, and you actually came in the room. I, I, I talked to him. I caught some of it, but I was unable to get to my phone to tape it. Um, you know, he said, well, we've been advised. And I said, by who? By the G4S, you know, private security. He said, well, we're not going to say. Right. He wouldn't say who advised him, but he did say uh, at least more than once that he'd been, that they had been advised. Okay. Yes. Um, do you mind if I take a message and I'll just ask somebody to give you a call back? Well, ma'am, let's just do it this way because I'm coming with Mr. Reeves. Uh, can you tell us about uh, our reservation? Then I guess it might have been a prank call. Um, no, I'm afraid I don't have access to the reservation system. Uh, but uh, if you got a message from somebody, I could just ask them to give you a call back. Oh, no, that's okay. Just put us through to the front desk then. Okay, just a second. Thank you. Yeah. Now they're going to say the Grove Hotel doesn't exist. <laughs> Again, folks, that's what they have at the Grove Hotel, the transhumanist statue of a skeleton climbing out of the water being turned into a robot. And our current issue of the magazine covers all this. We're going to have live Bilderberg coverage regardless. David Icke's going. Paul Watson's going. They may try to stop me from getting into England. Infowars.com forward slash Bilderberg has all the live feeds, everything on it. Get that link out to everybody. By the way, on Monday, we're going to send out at Infowars.com forward slash newsletter the free e-copy of this to everybody, and it's got live links in it and everything with all of the most important info on how it's Googleberg, how they're merging Google with Bilderberg. It's very, very important. So sign up there at infowars.com forward slash newsletter if you want to have that sent out to you on Monday. I guess now we can see how long they're going to leave us on hold. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be too long. Yeah, again, to Richard, you just need to get it on record. And we have to tape another one. You just call Grove. And you say, oh, hi, I'm here about my reservations. Hmm. You see, they don't even want to give us a record of it. That's the thing. Because I was like, you, you still have them on the phone. I was like, well, sir, just give us a record. You know, Are you going to help us get another hotel, which they did when they kicked us out? when we came to check in at right. the uh, Marriott. Right. You know, they said, we booked this for you, and uh, they even paid for a night. That's right. But, 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 and, and then he also said, enjoy your stay in England, right. which, which I think is a little tell that they're planning to not, you know, let me in. Okay, I want you to get me all the Grove's phone numbers. I'm going to put them up on InfoWars.com because they are absolutely... Just, this is this is egregious. They had the cops calling us, you know, saying, "Oh yes, you're going to have you know your free speech honored and all this." And again, they act like we the people have done something wrong. When I, well, that's what I said to him. I said, "We're press. You know who we are. Right. We have no criminal record." Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, 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 yes, sir. Uh, we have reservations. It's Richard Reeves. We have uh, reservations set there, and we're just making sure it's not a prank call. Uh, someone called and said your reservation has been canceled, and they basically wouldn't give us details and hung up. So we're just we wanted to call the main number and make sure that we were correct that our reservation had been canceled. It's for uh, Richard uh, Reeves. Yes, there's no reservations for you, Mr. Reeves. Okay, but those reservations were there. Why were they canceled? We have the confirmation number. I'm sorry about that, but I don't have those details, so I can confirm that we don't have those bookings. Those have been canceled. Okay, so you canceled our... Uh, well, well, why was it canceled? I have no idea, Mr. Reeves. I'm going to have to hold you for a moment. Yeah, I need to speak to your manager, please. Thank you. Man, I wish we'd have got that guy on tape. Well, at least we're getting this. So we'll have uh, something. Plus, I can email and see about getting an email. But, I mean, think about it. Google spies on you. It's in with the NSA, CIA, British intelligence, on record, mainstream news. We cover it in this issue. They're meeting there now. 
and after. Google, they, they like encamp. They're, they're building a steel cage around a multi-thousand acre thing. We have the maps on InfoWars.com the police put out where they say no one's allowed to be pedestrians on the road. Local citizens will have to show their papers to get to their houses. Right. It's a farming area. All because press wants to come cover something that doesn't exist, according to the New York Times. Well, the New World's not come, New World order is not coming. Do you have a contact number? Yes, my contact number is... US hold on, hold on, hold on, I mean, hold on. No, no, when you say we have a contact number, we called the number back that we were called by someone. What was his name, Richard? Jonathan Brown. Jonathan Brown, and I'm a syndicated radio host. This is going to be in the newspapers. Hello? Uh, yes, ma'am. We got uh, what, what we believe might be a prank call earlier saying that our reservations had been canceled. We called back, and we're speaking to the gentleman, and he hung up again. Uh, it's a reservation for two rooms under Richard Reeves. I need you to go book us some more rooms before you go at another hotel, or I can go, or we can do I, it. I've got a layover in Houston. I can book it. Anyway, All right. Over there. This is unbelievable. Can I take your contact number? Let me get somebody to pull you back. Well, uh, uh, here's the issue. It's Richard Reeves and Alex Jones. Uh, we'd like to speak to the gentleman that called up and said that he canceled us. Can I take your number? Um, will someone really call me back? Well, I, I take your details and I pass the message on to the relevant party. Okay, well, who is this? Because I need a statement for the newspapers. Mr. Reeves, if you leave me a telephone number, sir, I would get the right person to call you. Okay? Yeah, well, you're talking to Richard Reeves and Alex Jones, yes. Okay, I leave this to me. I pass this message on to the right person, sir. Thank you. Okay, can I speak to your manager, please? The manager is not available, Mr. Reeves. I'll get him to call you back when he is. Is, that, is the manager Jonathan Brown? Indeed, sir. It is? Okay. So it was Jonathan Brown that called us and said that said that we were canceled on advice from security. And so I need that in writing. Okay. I don't know the conversation that you had and if it was, but I will pass this message on to the right party. Thank you, Mr. Reeves. I'll get somebody to call you back. All right. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, they, The manager. Now we know who he is. He wouldn't even say who he was, Richard. Uh, well, that guy didn't want to say who he was. No, 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 no. But I'm saying the, 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 the... Jonathan Brown. Jonathan Brown said he was the, the head manager? Well, John, when Jonathan Brown called, he said, I am Jonathan Brown. No, I know. But he never said he was the manager. We were asking who he was. He, he said he was a manager of some type. I don't recall the, the, the prefix. But, I mean, they're the globalists, and then they act like we're criminals. Right, exactly. And then they're setting up martial law all around it. And, of course, I'm just using their political correctness against them. I mean, imagine if we were, you know, Muslims or somebody, and we were being kicked out of the hotel for no reason. I mean, I have no criminal record. I've done nothing wrong. I'm going to cover a group they say doesn't exist. And what was it, like $1,000 a night to stay there anyways? Right. Uh, it was, uh, they had rooms even more than that, but right. Uh, they had a room about 1000 a night, and just a, a normal room was about three or 400 500 a night. And we were just going for a few days before they, you know, the thing kicks off to be able to document what was happening. And now that will not be the case. Well, well, we have ways of responding to this, so I'm just going to send all reporters, all reporters in the U.K., I want you all to now descend on this venue, you know, that operates and it's open to the public, so you're going to the restaurant, very evil, go in and buy some food there, you know, go in and, 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 and patronize them. Well, tomorrow I should have an opportunity to go uh, ask Jonathan Brown. I should uh, be able to get Jonathan Brown in person tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have an opportunity tomorrow to visit with Jonathan Brown, and we'll see if we can get Absolutely. I want you to go in there, shoot live stream, everything, infowars.com forward slash Bilderberg for all the coverage. There we go. All right, Richard, good job. I hope they even let you into England. We'll find yeah. out. All right. You're the test guinea pig. I come after you. All You're right. the advanced man. First to go, last to know. <laughs> Everybody say a prayer for Richard Reeves. Say a prayer for all of us, folks. We have tracked them from Canada to England, from France to Switzerland. And the world now knows that there are men behind the curtain pulling the strings and that our politicians are little more than puppets. But the puppet masters wish to remain in the dark. That's why they stifle and persecute the press. But now the press and the free people of the world will strike back. All right, folks, last part of this video for now. It's a couple of clips because they kept hanging up on us. You and I were here because InfoWars was having a problem on Saturday morning. We both got up here about 8 a.m. Richard shows up at about 9 to get ready to leave to go catch his flight at the airport down the street. 
We could play Spets on whether they're even let him in the country. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, it is incredible. Mm-hmm. And uh, the reason I'm talking to you is I was walking out. You said, oh, yeah, I heard the whole conversation. The first one we, we were unable to tape. And, and I was telling him, I, I'm taping this. I'm taping this. I was grabbing my phone, but turned out it was like out of memory. I had to erase some memory before we called him uh-huh. back. Uh, but uh, just incredible. That was Tell folks what you heard the, the, the manager say. The manager was just – he was – he said he had to cancel the reservations, but there was no – when when we were asking why, there was no reason given. I, I can't say. The, they, security advised me that we, should, that we should cancel the reservations. And then we got his name, and, and then we kept asking him for questions. And it's whatever security says. Like they're going to have – now they're reporting millions of pounds. That's like $4 million, basically. Mm-hmm. Talking about like two and a half million pounds, whatever that comes out to. Just to put the ring of steel up in security around a multi-thousand acre facility. They're putting up steel barricades for a non-existent event <laughs> that has no power, and the taxpayers are paying for it. Yeah. Well, here's the deal. And again, I came up here early this morning when the website was down, and I, I was going to go exercise. I'm a little disheveled, but uh, go ahead. I'm going to uh, say some uh, stuff to folks out there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen... Now is the time. I was just going as press to cover this. There's always some demonstrators. Everyone in Europe, everyone in the UK has to forward this video to everybody they know. People all over the world, send it to people you know in Europe and the UK. Everyone must go there as citizen journalists and just show this event for what it is. This is going to totally backfire on them. If they acted cool, like they've done in Canada and Chantilly, and just had some police, and we people have a protest, and, you know, there's media coverage, alternative media covers it, it'd be in a few foreign newspapers. It's already in newspapers everywhere. You idiots. I mean, you want to have your criminal smoky room meeting, but you've had all this lapdog media for decades say you don't exist and there's no globalism. These are the people getting your banker bailout money. These are the people spying on you at Google who's at the meeting feeding it into the NSA and all the rest of it. These are the people. And then all we want to do as citizens is go videotape it and cover it. When I've had the New York Times say I'm crazy and Nightline and say this doesn't exist and you guys have just screwed the pooch. We've already won. The only question is how big is this victory going to be? Ladies and gentlemen, this is big. This is the year Bilderberg is politically exposed forever because of their own arrogance. Everyone. I've I've got crew getting on airplanes. I've got crew coming in from Europe. I've got crew coming in from America. They're not stopping the signal. We're going to cover the cover-up. Just like they've done on Fast and Furious and the IRS scandal, everything else, and how this is the group that funded the Arab Spring. They brag in newspapers that they had meetings at this hotel with the Google group planning the Arab Spring to put Al-Qaeda in charge. And now that's mainstream news, and now Rand Paul's talking about it. Oh, you don't like it? Everybody knows you run Al-Qaeda now. you got the cops out there trying to block us in the private security from going there and covering it days before it starts to show the hotel. Too late. I already sent Watson in weeks ago. We already got high def footage of everything. You're not stopping jack squat. Liberty is rising. So keep acting like thugs. The best way to bring down a tyrant is make them act like the tyrant they are. We're going to clip these together because there's several different clips here with this. Oh, man. Tim Frugier, anything else you'd like to add about, uh, I mean, do you agree with me on this? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I was kind of saying this is, in a way, the first victory of Bilderberg because, I mean, Come on, they, they called and canceled the day Richard's flying out. They're going to call and cancel the reservations and then not give a reason why other than security advised them. Just insane, insane. Victory number one, in my opinion. So. Well, it happened last year. I show up at, at Chantilly and the cops are there. Yeah. Acting, you know, acting like yeah. I was a criminal. <laughs> and then, oh, I forgot. This is on video. You can go to last year's coverage of it on YouTube. Then they send the head cop to the hotel we got down the street we caught him going, is there any trouble? You want to throw him out of here? And then he told the hotel shuttle that I was tipping not to give us a ride down the street because they wouldn't let anybody park around there. So we just started walking, and I got some exercise I needed, you know, the half mile. I mean, you didn't stop jack crap. And that's it. I'm putting the call out everywhere. Every hill and mountain, every valley. You go to Watford, just n- uh, northwest of London, everyone. And, folks, David Icke's coming to give a speech. He can get 6,000 people out. I mean, your attempt to stop this, now everybody's got a duty to go. <laughs> and I'll be there in spirit, even if they try to block me getting on the plane. Or they may be jerks, let me get there and turn me back. Great. Act like thugs. You'll stop nothing. <laughs> Everybody get this video out to everyone you know. Unbelievable. You think they like that cover?
royalty, corporate chiefs, politicians, the heads of Google and Facebook, they all attend. And then they have your taxpayer money pay for the security against the public as if we are terrorists. If you can't physically go to England to confront this tyranny, then you need to use Facebook, Twitter, and other globalist platforms like YouTube to spread the word so that others go. And so that the corporate press is forced to report on this. They don't want the light of exposure on them. So let's turn up the heat. Let's intensify that light 100%.